Hey guys, Rusty here. I just wanted to throw out a quick video about batteries. I see a lot of people asking about sub-ohming and uh, what kind of batteries they should get and everything else. You need to make sure you have a battery that's going to handle the amps that you're going to be pulling. This is an E-Fest. It's rated at 10 amps, so I know that I can't go any lower than 4.2. Alright? Or 0.42 ohms. Sorry guys. Um, the thing is, people always assume their battery is a 3.7 volt battery, okay? That's not 100% true. It is an average of 3.7 volts. That's what you can get out of your battery, okay? The, the reason that's not right is because when you come off the charger, you're at 4.2 volts, okay? Now, what I want to show you is the numbers at the top, all right? 3.7 being your average, as you can see, at 3.2, your battery is dead. At 4.2, your battery is fully charged. There's five steps on each side, okay? That means your battery has an average of 3.7. If you added all of these up and divided them by 11, you would have 3.7 as your average, okay? So your battery is not, even though it says 3.7 volts, that's not what you want to do on an ohms calculator to see how many amps you are pulling, okay? Your battery fresh off the charger is 4.2, so you need to understand that is going to be the highest amount of power that you're going to get out of it. So if you're running a mech mod, you need to make sure that your ohms, okay, let me go to an ohms calculator real quick and I'll tell you exactly how it works. Alright, this video is going to be a little shaky because I'm actually holding the camera with my hand while I show it to you, okay? The thing is, the voltage on your battery is going to be 4.2, alright? at your fullest charge. Now don't do 3.7 because you're going to end up running too low of ohms and stressing your battery out too much, okay? Then the next thing you need to know is the resistance of uh, either your atomizer or the current, which is the amps, the amp rating of your battery, okay? The thing is if your battery is rated at 10 amps, like mine is, I can type in 10 and hit calculate and it's telling me that I cannot go lower than 4.2 uh, ohms on my resistance, okay, or 0.42, whatever I said. Um, if I go lower than that, I'm going to be pulling more than 10 amps. As the battery dies, yes, the amps will go down. It'll be less stressful on the battery. But you also got to realize if you drain your battery too much, it's just as bad as putting that much uh, amperage on your battery, okay? Another way to figure it out is if um, you can do 4.2 volts on a fully charged battery, if you know the resistance of your atomizer, like I've got one that's a dual coil, it's a 0.5 ohms, type in 0.5 and hit calculate. I'm only running 8.4 uh, amps on a fully charged battery, okay? I hope that helps out and it makes a little bit of sense. The thing that you need to know is what your batteries are capable of. Um, if you insist on sub-ohming, you know, I like sub-ohming, it heats the coil up a lot faster and uh, it just gives a more intense vape, that's just what I like. But if you want to sub ohm, make sure your battery can handle it. And when you do your cal your calculator, make sure that you do 4.2 for your voltage. Okay? Because that's what your battery is going to be straight off the charger. I hope it made sense, and I hope I didn't beat a dead horse, but I just don't want anybody to blow themselves up, especially when they think they're only running 3.7. Because check this out. If I do 3.7, and then I've got my battery current, you know, my amps, if I say it's 10... It's going to tell me I can run a super low resistance, 0.37. Um, that's almost a full, you know, tenth of an uh, ohm less, and that's going to be more current. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but that'll put a lot of stress on your battery. A little bit goes a long way, okay, guys? Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.